What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage seven of the Giro d'Italia here on PCM 2020 and we have one of the flatter stages you are likely to see at the Giro where we will try and win it with either Ballerini or Alvaro Hodge. Getting underway today then and another look at the Maglia Rosa Jao Almeida. We need to look at that as much as possible because we don't know how long we will have it at the race. We want to keep it to the end of course don't know if that's realistic with Almeida. We will see. Anyhow, we're going to go for Davide Ballerini today as he's on better form than Hodge. Today's breakaway have now formed then. As you can see, we have Kachekov, Romano, Puccio, Arashiro and Albert Torres as well as Matthias Brandl on the front right there. Two minutes currently on the main bunch. So we're just approaching another very nice Italian village right here and you can see the breakaway have 35 seconds. They're about to be caught with 25k to go. This is gonna be a sprint. And by the way, I have altered some of the stats in the race very slightly based on how they've performed in real life. So we have like Björg slightly improved, Fabro as well. Uh, we can also see Ghana is, uh, is much improved because obviously that climb that Ghana won in real life was utterly insane from the breakaway. Slightly improved his stats right there. You can see a higher mountain rating now. So we now have 12k to go here at the Giro. Kaiser come to the front. We have Seri behind him. Hodge may be leading out Ballerini, but his poor flat racing really could hamper him right there. In fact, with Kaiser, I'm going to follow maybe uh, Fabro for a little bit just to try and rest with him. We have our GC guys just sitting behind, as you see. But I'm thinking we could try and follow maybe Damar or Sagan, depending on their positioning later in the stage. Seven and a half K to go. So six K to go. Now we're almost at the five K to go banner. Can't really see any rivals. Where is Damar? There he is. We have Sagan much further back as well. But Kaiser can probably go to 95 right now. Four K to go. We're going 99. There you go. Almeida looking pretty good. He can uh, just stay like that. Kaiser sticking on 99, doing a great, great job for the team. Um, and you can see here comes Arnold Demar moving up on the right-hand side of the roads. Seri up to 99. And you can see that FDJ sprint train so, so strong. Hodge trying to bring Ballerini back into it. Can we take it? Davide Ballerini versus Gaviria versus Arnold Demar. But Fernando Gaviria takes it ahead of Alvaro Hodge, actually. Second today, a Colombian 1-2. We have Demar in third, Ballerini in fourth. A very good sprint by our boys again. Well, we gave that a great go. Hodge with a great day despite that minus day. Perhaps I timed it slightly incorrectly in the end. But Gaviria, one of the best pure sprinters, probably the best pure sprinter at this year's race. Uh, ahead of Demar and Sagan, I would say. And he takes his first stage win. And you can see what the points jersey looks like right now. Matthews in first place. We're in third and fourth, actually with Ballerini and Hodge. So looking ahead to stage eight into Vieste, we have a very interesting stage, probably for a puncher, maybe the likes of Matthews, Ulysses, Sagan, even Demar, if he can get over all of these climbs, but we're sure to see some aggressive attacks from the punchers, I expect. Anyhow, if you enjoyed today, drop a like as always on the video, drop a sub to my channel if you're new as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.